Are video games wasting your time? Probably. Now, I'm a gamer myself, so I, this video is not to bash gamers or to say that video gaming in itself um, is not healthy. There are a lot of awesome reasons to play video games, and I'll probably go over those. And, but I really want to describe why I think video games normally is a big waste of time. And First off, I want to say that video games are a great form of art. Um, they really just broaden people's imaginations and get people to just think outside of the box just like art in itself you know no matter whether you're painting or drawing or making music um, video games is art and um, no matter what people like to say I mean you know it's it's a form of media it's like movies too you know they're art uh, along with photography and whatever else you can think of Video games have been shown to prove hand-to-eye coordination, generally have faster response times. You can re just respond to things like, say, um, you know, a cup is about to fall off the table, you know, you can grab it a lot faster. And I say this from experience because I've been playing video games all my life, ever since I've been four years old, five years old. And um, I'm 22 now, and so, you know, a good 15 to 17 years I've been playing, you know, video games. And so I really enjoy them, but really my main gripe with video games is that they just take way too much time. They're way too long, and they just, oh my gosh, they can just, just drag on and on and on, and they get so boring sometimes, and it's just like, man, I've already done this a million times, you know, how much more fun could this be? And... It just ends up wasting your day away. You say you start at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and all of a sudden it's 9 o'clock, and you're like, where did my day go? And uh, that's what happens with video games. Now with movies, there's a little bit more of a, um, a little bit more grace there, because movies are generally an hour and a half to two and a half hours, but video games, they can go on and on. And generally, at minimum, uh, most games are like eight hours, um, you know, maybe six hours. Um, the campaigns and the stories and all that, but you can play video games that are up to 100 hours plus. You know, um, you know, a game that I played that took up a lot of my life was Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Um, <laughs> I didn't spend too much time in Skyrim, um, but it, it kind of had the same effect on me where I was just playing it all the time. And it's just not healthy. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that anybody can have self-control with it but I think that it's so easy to really just have video games kind of take over your life and all your free time and then you know you end up kind of becoming a hermit and you know <laughs> coming antisocial and you just kind of just are kind of locked away in your room and kind of in a fantasy world you know and um now I could get into the other things of video games as like, you know, the violence and all the uh, the sex and all just forms of negative influences in games nowadays that are just not good um, for humans, um, you know, especially speaking on a biblical level because I'm a Christian, so that's an important thing to me, but, um, you know, generally I can find a lot of games that are, you know, healthy and that don't have to be violent. Um, like Flower for the PS3 or any other game that was made by that game company. Um, you know, they have a lot of really kind of peaceful games and a lot of games that just prove that you don't need games to be violent. Um, and I think we're almost getting into that age, too, where there is so much indie developers that are um, coming out with these games that are really unique, and, and um, you know, whether it's a puzzle game or a platformer or... Um, even if it's somewhat action-based, but it's more lighthearted, you know, where it's not just blood and guts and chopping off heads. Ah! And just seeing the heads roll over the place. And Because um, I play a lot of those games, too, and, uh, um, you know, I kind of regret p playing a lot of those. Um, I used to be into horror games, too, and um, I really regret ever playing horror games because those games kind of really mess with your head, and that's not healthy either. But... Again, mainly the point I wanted to make is just the time aspect. Time is so important in our lives, and there's always things that we have to do. And so I really encourage you to just put down the controller after, uh, you know, an hour or two because, you know, I think that that's all that you really have in our lives. And I don't want to sound hypocritical because, again, I felt that controller in my hands for up to three, four, to even eight hours, like the whole day, you know. 
and um, it's just it's just not good. So all right, guys, hope this helped you. God bless you. Have a great day, and as always, keep rebelling against the world for the sake of Jesus Christ.